tonight's win? Well, we're extremely proud of our uh, our team effort tonight. I thought we uh, we played the full 60 tonight as opposed to uh, yesterday. So we made a little step in our game that way. So any any win's a tremendous win in Hockey East. It's so competitive, and this is a good team we play. Questions at this time for Scott Wilson? Scott, can you just take us through your goal? It, it, a lot of, like it was going to be the only goal, but can you just take, take, take us through that? Uh, yeah, I knew that uh, we called for it in the middle. I knew Chappie called it from Homer, and Homer sent it right there, and I knew as soon as Chappie got it, he was going to throw it kind of behind his back. And I had a bunch of speed coming off the ice, so um, I had a similar goal against uh, Clarkson in Vermont tournament. So I, you know, I tried the same thing. I was just able to get it off quick enough and beat him over his arm there. Did you start to feel any frustration at all? I mean, they're, 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 their goaltender is outstanding. And yeah, um, I know uh, Megs pretty well um, through camps and stuff, but I knew uh, he's a great goaltender. So you know, I know you got to battle through. Uh, a little diversity there, but I think we got uh, plenty of chances, and I think a couple of wins just didn't go in front. Was there any specific area that uh, McGuire was uh, doing well, like uh, cutting down on his angles? Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing for me is uh, when shooting is just getting it off quick, so I didn't really think about that. I just thought, um, you know, once I came through the middle, if I just kind of pulled it and had a quick release, then I might have a chance and luckily it went in. Dude, uh, last night with Manny scoring, you know, like last couple minutes of the per third period, did that kind of carry over and, and, and maybe, because uh, it looked like the team, your team came with a sense of urgency right from the start. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, anytime you give up a lead with a couple minutes left, it's not a good feeling, but um, we wanted to get back and prove ourselves tonight, so I think we got back to the little things. Um, you know, we had a great PK tonight. Um, uh, working back over top of pucks and just getting uh, traffic and really focusing on taking the eyes away of McGuire. And I think we had a couple, um, like I said before, a couple chances that didn't go in, but we did a great job of getting traffic. Anything else for Scott so we can let him get back to the dressing room? Thanks, Scott. Yeah. More questions for our coach? Uh, well, your team outshot the 42 to 12 tonight. It looked like uh, every single player on your roster who played in the game had a shot. Just uh, kind of uh, what went into uh, dominating B when shots uh, so badly? Well, I, I think it's, uh, frankly, I thought our puck support was very good this weekend as a whole. So I'm very uh, happy with that. I think there's areas in our game that need to improve, but our puck support was excellent all weekend long. I thought there was a lot of 10-foot passes being made it wasn't a whole bunch of stretch passes. So if that continues, I think we'll keep generating offense because we're coming up with numbers. See, you only having 12 shots on net. You've talked all season about how great the defensive core could be for UMass. So can you just talk about maybe how that was tonight? Yeah, I, I thought our team defense was very good. And you, you alluded to the uh, D, D core. They're good also, but it was a team effort. You know, when you come up with numbers, you're coming back with numbers. It's almost like they got to go through five guys, and that's where we're at our best. You know, from a standpoint of a, it starts with the goaltender. Obviously, he was strong, but 12 shots. He didn't have to be spectacular by any means tonight. And the decor did do a good job, but I thought the forwards helped out an awful lot. You last night tonight, uh, you had some newer newer players uh, inserted, or players who hadn't been playing inserted into the lineup. So is that by design or? Just things that you saw. Earlier. No, no question. And you know, you see certain things in practice, and you want to give kids a a, a chance. I had a hunch Wally could come in here and, and give us a lift, and he has a big goal for us. That was a really big goal. It took some pressure off. And he, um, I was glad he converted because uh, he had a few breakaways early in the year, and uh, was a little stung there. However, uh, that was a big goal. I thought he gave us energy, and I thought uh, Manisha had a pretty uh, good game also. <coughs> Pretty nice pass on that, that goal as well, the stretch pass to him. Yeah, Caps uh, seemed to uh, see the outlet there, and it was uh, it was an excellent pass. I'm just happy we finished. It, you know, these uh, this month of January, it, it's kind of a January doldrums. You, you have to get through it. I, I can't wait for the guys to go back to school and get a routine because it's a big part of uh, their lives, and, and uh, I, I'm sure they're anxious to get back to school too, believe it or not. And I think it's important to, to have that routine set so we can get back to, uh, to business.
Coach, can you just talk about what the referee said about the when Fulham got the game misconduct? Yeah, I, I didn't uh, realize, or I didn't think, and it's usually not. That usually a hit is not reviewable, so I'm not sure. They wanted to get the number right, which is uh, their prerogative, I guess, but uh, usually it's not reviewable, so we're just asking them why he was reviewing the tape, and that was just a question. But, uh, you know, they got the call right, and I commend them for that. It, it, to not unrelated to the game, but today a lot of people saw the CBC feature on yourself uh, on the NHL network. Um, how did that come about, and, and congratulations for that as well? Well, I'm not sure uh, there needs to be much congratulations. It's, uh, you know, I, I uh, agreed to it. Uh, provided uh, on the circumstance or, or the uh, condition, I guess, that uh, they would come out and feature the team. I, I think this is a great program, an excellent school, and uh, they did a good job of featuring Masonga Serena Center, they did a good job of featuring the Hockey Performance Center, and I think there's a lot of Canadians out there that we'll recruit in the future that may have seen some of those, uh, some of those clips. The, the other story, I frankly don't think it's it's that related to uh, to hockey, to be honest with you. That's why I probably don't talk about it that much. It's uh, I'm a very very fortunate guy. I'm a lucky guy, and uh, it's uh, it's one of those situations where I'm, I'm glad to uh, I guess include that part of things if they're if they're willing to come and, and feature our university. And and just being a Canadian yourself, what does that mean to you to be be featured on such uh, on CBC? Yeah, I, I don't, uh, that's a great question, I guess. I never really gave it much thought. I don't put much stock into that stuff. I really don't enjoy it, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, my parents might say different because they're, you know, they're still at home in, in Canada and, and they feature the hometown, which is a big deal. I think you find a lot of kids from uh, rural towns in Canada that are extremely proud of their little communities because Hockey Day is exactly that. It's about featuring little communities and how those uh, kids went on to do different things. So from that standpoint, there, there's a real pride as far as coming from a certain area and uh, representing that, uh, that province. And the, the gentleman, Red Sharon, doing that story is a Manitoba guy also. So it's, uh, he was a good person. I thought it was tastefully done. And um, you know, I, I think it's, uh, it's a great way to feature and uh, cover our world-class university and give some exposure in Canada. And just one last thing. Wilson said that you're the best coach that he's ever had on a team. What is that? How does that feel to be to have that said about you? Yeah, that, that's uh, that's flattering. That's flattering. Uh, you know, keep him on the power play for that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's uh, you know, it's nice when you hear nice things about uh, uh, about you said, but uh, you know, more importantly. You know, as a coach, I think you try to be as fair as possible and, uh, you know, try to uh, be yourself. That's the biggest key, I think. And uh, for me, it's very easy to have uh, great days because uh, of the circumstances. I think every day is a good day, and most of them are great. Coach, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.